It's the most wonderful time of the year to go holiday shopping, Christmas shopping. I'm at Target. I'm going to go inside and explore all of the new holiday and Christmas decor that they have. Threshold, Magnolia, is that what it's called? I'm going to do the Target dollar spot and then, of course, the seasonal section. You know we're going to find some gems and see a whole... Well, I hope everything is out by now. Thanksgiving who? Let's put up our tree. I'm hydrated. My soul is purified. Let's see what's inside. If you do Starbucks, they have some gingerbread wishes and gingerbread oatmeal milk chai. I don't know anything about it. All I have to say is get pumped because they are fully stocked. I just went through the aisle, so let's get an overview. It's very busy, so I'm doing my best to get overviews. Oh my gosh, look at that football. What is that? A blanket, a towel. Here is another aisle full of goodies and then another Christmas aisle behind us. I will go through in detail, not like super detail, but enough. But I usually just like to get a glimpse of what's happening before I do a little deep dive. There's even more behind me. Halloween stuff to the left, but we'll put our blinders on for that. When even more down here. Oh my gosh, you see the bowls and then football stuff is here. I'm just gonna start up here. Lots of cuties, elves, gnomes. Those are $3 a piece. These are $5. This would be cool for like a hot cocoa bar or I guess to put cookies in. I don't really know. I think that's what it actually is. A lot of these ducks for a dollar. And then, oh, are we still decorating tiered trays? Do people do that? $5 for this set to uh, decorate your tiered tray. There's bowls on the other side, so I'll dive deeper into that. I saw this, this little guy. I think he's so darling. We can put like fudge on here. That's what I'm thinking. I don't even eat fudge, but it's $5. A teeny tiny little gingerbread house. Oh my gosh, it lights up. Is this supposed to be here? I feel like this is not a dollar spot item, but it is. Would you believe me if I told you this thing was $5? Wow, what a screaming deal. And then, oh, how many sleeps till Christmas? That's pretty cute, a wooden board. We have bells, a couple trees, some garland, and then the Christmas trees down there, the glass ones. Okay, it cleared out a little bit. All you have to do is wait your turn. Letters to Santa, a Santa mailbox kit. It even comes with letters and stamps. What, is that true? $3, three letters, envelopes, and then seals. This is really sweet too. I've seen a couple Couple of people do this last year where you get a little stencil and make it uh, look like a little snow print is coming in if you catch my drift we have some ornaments here wooden ornaments these would be great also as gift tags I think those are only a dollar oh reindeer feed reindeer feed instructions and it comes with a spoon I actually love this it's three dollars sprinkle on your lawn at night the moon will make it sparkle bright when Santa's reindeer fly high and roam this will guide them to your home how did they ever find my home back in the day I'll never know also a few wooden decor pieces. These are $5 a piece. These look like the new ornaments. Those look like the ones from last year, if I'm being real. These are still a dollar a piece. Look how darling these are. And would be so great. Actually, it looks like, I think they had these last year. They have some pretty good ornaments. I'm just saying, if you're looking to decorate a tree, they have these yarn trees. We saw the gnomies and the elves. Is this from fall? I don't know. A lot of bells. $5 for a bell? What are we doing with that? Calling cattle? I'm not sure. Uh, some trees, some more silver bells. Socks. This is a screaming deal. Hopefully these are a dollar. Look, these look like gingerbread socks. And they're for the kids. Oh, these are so cute. For Add, add them to a gift and it's like a functional little added piece. And it's only a dollar. Wait, what are we doing with this Easter grass during Christmas? Oh, presents and stuff? Okay, I guess I'll let it pass. That's fair. Also, these reindeer antlers, they light up as they should. Oh, and then of course, they have these. My kids love these, so of course I'm gonna grab some. When we go caroling and go out and look at lights and stuff, they love to have little extra stuff like that. What's in the box? Nothing. Is this supposed to be in the dollar spot? $5 for, ooh, a gift box for five bucks? That's actually cheaper than Michael's. I'm gonna say it's like the quality of Michael's. <gasps> Blanket scarves, this is what I was looking for during the fall time to put out like on top of a table, kind of as like not a whole table cloth, but just as like a decorative tablecloth runner type of thing. So there are several colors. Well, maybe just three. Is this the same color? Let's call it beige, green, red. And then these glass trees, these are $5. I'm assuming the ones up front were three. Oh, but not only do they have that, they have little snowmen. So cute. What do we put in here? 
I guess anything you want. Fill it up with candy, I suppose. Fleece blankets? Ooh, ooh. I don't know why, but I hate this, the feel of that. But it is fun for a dollar. It's like, do you want socks or do you want a fleece blanket? We have window clings, ho ho and ho in. Ceramic trees, these are a dollar. Ooh, ceramic. What are these called? Soldier? Soldier boy. Soldier boy up in it. Oh. All right, let's move on. This is a cute little spot over here. These bowls are darling. I feel like this is the first thing I saw this season. They are $5 a piece, but look, it has a handle and a pour spout. This is also $5, no handle, no pour spout, no deal for me. Actually, these are really cool. It's like a little baking set and it's miniature, $3. Comes with a whisk, a spatula, and some teaspoons. This one actually comes with a rolling pin. I feel like this would be great for Play-Doh too. And then it comes with some cookie cutters. So if you're given a gift, $3 for this and then a set of Play-Doh, it's like done. We saw that. I don't know if there are any other sets, but oh, there it is. Oh my gosh, look how darling. Look at this. I don't decorate tiered trays. It's just too much for me at my season of life. A couple of mugs. Oh my gosh, this mug is the winner. Look how dang cute it is. I guess you get two mugs in one. All right, well, that's interesting. Okay, lots of vases for all of the floral you're gonna get this holiday season. Oh, what is this? Wait, go fight win? Okay, well, that is definitely interesting. In zone, football, boring. I actually love football. Oh, are these candles? These are cute little candles. So I guess they have different scents. The elf, the snowman, and Mr. Claus himself. They'll never really smell that great, but it's like $3 for a candle. You know, what do you expect? Oh my heck, silver bells. Five bells in here. I don't know what we're doing with this, but it's a dollar and we decorate or is this a mistletoe in there? Oh, that's pretty funny. What's in here, Q-tips? Workshop dust? Oh my gosh, they're so creative. Sugar plums? Why do I love this so much? This is snow, snow straight from the North Pole. Oh, amazing, and only for a dollar? It's like someone had to make a trip all the way up there, you know what I mean? I don't know what this is, I guess just candy canes from the North Pole? That's really cute, I actually love that. Over here. Wait, I have, oh, an LED light. Okay, so we have, oh, it's got a suction cup so you can put this on windows and stuff. A snowflake, a snowman, oh, a light bulb. Ooh, snowman. More window clings. These are really cute. Days till Santa and it, oh, it comes with a little piece of chalk. That's sweet. And then this one too. This is $3, so take that if you want it. Little people for your village. Oh my heck, a little baby gnomey. This is a dollar and he's got a Christmas tree for a hat. Reindeer. Should we get nine of them? One for each reindeer to represent? All right, some garland before. I know I went through it pretty fast. Oh, it's $5, but this is pretty. Look at that. If you want it without snow. I mean, look at that. Table swag. They also have this, $3, sprig. And then this one, oh, so beautiful. So have some like pine cones and stuff. I feel like I could just collect those in front of my house. I don't really know what that is, but apparently it's all the rage. La 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 and joy and all that good stuff. And then they have these baskets. What are we doing with these wooden baskets? Are we, oh, are we putting gift baskets together? Hey, you see? What's this, a charcut board? A charcuterie set. It's $3 and it even has some stuff written. Like, I don't know what it says. Salty, veggies, it looks like. Hooked on phonics, you know? It's hard to read when stuff is covered. More of those sets. Oh, and they have like the just normal spatula. This is super cute. I saw this spatula <laughs> on Instagrams. A dollar for this little gingerbread man. We have some Christmas tree tongs. These look like they are popular. Also a whisk with a star in it. I mean, how could you resist? Am I right? Sleigh rides. Oh, this is sweet. A wooden sleigh ride. Just check it. That's pretty nice for $5. And then this one is metal and it says candy canes. Handmade, they're handmade daily. I love the little candy cane that it hangs with. Oh, and they have a a gingerbread bakery. This is so cute, Miss. Oh, it's by Mr. and Mrs. Claus, so you know it's quality. When look, they're jumping on that acrylic train, that acrylic calendar. I don't want this to fall. I didn't even break that, it's not my fault. But they have that, that's $5. Uh, a couple wooden bins, if you wanna put together some gifts with that. More sprigs down there. And we have some ceramic platters that I guess you can also hang, they're $5. Fa la 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 la. I feel like we could put some fudge on here too. That would be pretty sweet. There's just so much that I want, but like, do I need everything? Oh my gosh, I love these bags. 
they're reusable bags and honestly you can give them as gift bags and then it's the gift bag that keeps on giving these are a few of my favorite things okay and then we have gingerbread whatever that print is i think that's it oh snowflake decor wow and then they have normal bags here that people will probably toss this is a dollar and then they have these oh my gosh dasher dasher wait hold up a second dasher and dancer prancer and vixen champagne tequila vino and blitzen and why they do that okay we have bigger gift bags here these are for a dollar these are a screaming deal because normal gift bags uh elsewhere at target are like four dollars these days three dollars actually essentials what do we have that's from fall we've got some candles neck pillow i feel like this is all fall stuff except for up here merry christmas oh my gosh it's a little gift box you can put together this is a dollar too great for all those oddly shaped items oh this is fantastic this would be great for teacher gifts that's what i'm thinking and just for a dollar it's cute it's different it's a box throw some candy in there gift card call it a day okay and then we have a bunch of wrapping paper sometimes they have really cute wrapping paper and it used to only be a dollar okay it still is only a dollar but look check the prints out awesome and then hanging banner for your door hold on do you see this this is a what are, what are those called again nutcracker this one says merry christmas this one says happy holidays this one is a nutcracker i think that's it we're here it's kind of like the kiddo section oh they do have beanies listen i live in florida but my kids if the temperature drops below 60, they need to be bundled, okay? So they're thinking, oh, I need beanies. I'm like, you, literally when the sun comes up, you're gonna be sweating. Anyway, they have fuzzy socks too, those fleece blankets, mittens. Okay, how much are these pieces of crap? A dollar for mittens that we're gonna lose one of and then just end up tossing the other one because who wants to wear one mitten? And then they have books up here, $3. The, ooh, the naughty list. I don't know if I wanna read that one, $3. Elf Hunt, ooh. Gabby's Doll House, no assembly. Oh, easy assembly, no glue. And then over here, they have a nice assortment of stocking stuffers or toys if you're putting together gifts for little ones. They have artist pads with, with crayons, a uh, scream duel. $3 for those, or you get like a play pack. I think those are a dollar or $3. These, oh, my kids love these, or my little ones always do, and uh, they can get really pricey too, but you know what? Seeing their smile is priceless. What's this? Is Ninja Turtles coming back? We watched the 90s Ninja Turtle during the um, Halloween season. Oh my, stop it right now. Stop this, stop it right now. Will I ever use this? Wait, does it connect to my cell phone? <gasps> I'm buying this for n literally no good reason. I have to have it. And then they have a banana phone. This is a great like gag gift or if you're doing a white elephant party or something like this, this is amazing. These are gonna sell like hotcakes or maybe I'm the only person who wants it. I don't know. What was I saying? Listen, the 90s Ninja Turtles, 90s PG movies are not the same as 2023 PG movies because they say curse words. I'm like, what is happening? <laughs> so now my kids think it's like, okay. Glitter lamps, these are fantastic. It's like, is it like a lava lamp, but just glitter? $5, oh, do you have to shake it? No, it, you plug it in. Oh, I like those a lot. A mini golf set. What is this, a whoopee cushion? Mini desktop bunching, punching bag. You know what? That's functional. I like it right there. A mini vacuum. Oh my gosh, it looks like a Zumbini, Zamboni. What are those things? <laughs> so cultured. Sky drinking kit. I'm not really sure what that is. A rake. Yes, put your kids to work. And then they have pillows. Some people really love these pillows. And they're affordable when you compare to home goods and stuff. $5. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Santa Claus North Pole, $5 for that. And then they also have a couple risers that come together. So they look like little peppermints. Love that. A wire basket if you're putting together more gifts. Green, red, and then a couple more. Oh, what is here? Even more, a Bluetooth speaker, wireless speaker for the shower. Listen, I got one of these last year for a few nieces, and I'm just gonna say 
I spent way more than $5 for it, <laughs> but it does light up, so hmm, worth it. What is this, Play-Doh with a little Coco Malone on there? I'm going through, I missed a couple of things. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Isn't this sweet? It's got the numbers on there, just $5. And then they also have these make your own garlands. So they have candy canes and gingerbread, and then these sweet ornaments, they have houses and trees. Oh, and then these socks. Okay, this is where it's at. These have got to be more than a dollar. Yeah, $5 for these, but nice and comfy, cozy, lounging, watching your Christmas movie socks. Also passed over these cute little gingerbread stuffies. And they also have these tins. They're $3 a piece, so there's a gingerbread and a tree. Looks pretty nice, big enough to put whatever the heck you want in there. Fudge. Also a candle. Ooh, wow, look at that. Smells all right. And how did I pass over these? What are these, napkin holders? It's not, I think, I don't think the napkins will fit. It's a novelty basket, so they have a snowman, a Christmas tree, and gingerbread. Oh, but wait, hold up. They also have a sled. Literally barely have time to like go to the bathroom, but if I had more time in my day, I would definitely do this. I just found these cross stitches. They're $3 a piece, but they have a bunch, Mickey Mouse down there, like a pretzel, be a goldfish, just a bunch of random stuff that I've, you know what? I'm gonna get it anyway. Maybe I'll have Avelina make it for me. <laughs> so I found this instant snow, do it yourself, add water and watch it erupt. Looks like a fun way to make a mess for a dollar. I also found this other mini desktop vacuum and then some USB lights if you wanna decorate your computer screen or something. I don't know what else, how far the cable goes, but these are really cute. Okay, totally random. I found this sushi roll maker. That's how I roll. And then also this dough press. And these are $3 a piece. Also found a bunch of advent calendars out here. The other side has a bunch of chocolates. Uh, this has 12 days of beauty. I might get, I don't know how much this is. I don't, ooh, $20 for 12 things? I feel like that's not that bad. I just spent an arm and a leg last time I was here. Meredith really loved the adorables. So I got the advent calendar there, but this looks like all beauty stuff. Merry Fizmas. They're all 20 bucks. And then there's one for cats and dogs. What is this, a puzzle? Ooh, do you get like a couple pieces of the puzzle every day? That's pretty funny. So this is 12 days of wellness, 12 days of beauty, 12 days of masking, face masks, 12 days of bath balms, also bath balms, dogs, chocolates, chocolates, but make it fancy, more chocolates, $4, that's more my budget. Yes, purple is the color of the season. They normally have the festive earrings over here, the bobble bar by Sugar Fix or one way or the other, but they also have this festive stuff, the hair bows, and then boxed jewelry for 20 bucks. I thought these might be the earrings, but it's not. I don't know who Kendra Scott is, but she looks awesome. Ooh, must have gifts for $5. Nice little hair bows. Ooh, $10 hair bow section. Here it is. I found the Christmas earrings, the Sugar Fix by Bobble Bar. They have wreaths, bows. Oh my gosh, Mr. and Mrs. Claus would as a mug. Who doesn't love that? I actually think these are my favorite so far. The lights, the vintage looking lights. Then they have, I don't know, hot cocoa wrapped in lights. Missing one. Oh, I wonder. It's probably the best looking one. I'll try to find them online too, see what we're missing. And then ornaments and reindeer. I have the Christmas trees on from two years ago. This is the new and improved version. There's the old, here's the new. I would definitely say there's an improvement there. I actually really love these candy canes. I don't have candy canes like this, they're darling. Is that from fall? Yes. And then they have a menorah, represent. Oh, I almost forgot these two, dangling snowflakes. They have the magnolia out with all of their holiday stuff. We'll peek on that in just a second because look, they also have their threshold holiday stuff out. I wish that pole wasn't there. $12 for these assortment of snow globes and nutcrackers, lots of variety. Did you see that unicorn nutcracker? So funny. Okay, um, I'm not gonna pick and choose what to look at. I'll let you do that. You can pause it, screenshot it, whatever, zoom in. But they have a lot of trees. I really like those signs. This basket is probably $130. Let's guess that price. It's so expensive, they don't even put the price on the price tag anymore. I was so close, it's $120. <laughs> I scanned it on my app. Okay, they have a lot of tapered candles. Oh, the throw blankets, those look so plush and darling. Oh, this wooden house. These houses, oh, you make your own advent calendar. All right, let's guess that price. And then you have to spend the money to stock it every year, $30. 
My problem is I can't put like five of one thing in there. We used to have one of these. Oh, Merry Christmas, a stocking holder maybe, or hang whatever you want. Oh, that is beautiful. Lots of candles, they always have a ton of candles. Pillows, so plush. More wooden signs over here, Merry Christmas, Noel. Some wreaths. Ooh, Christmas blankets and pillows. I like those round pillows. Are those trending? Are those new? I feel like I've never seen those before. I really like the Noel pillow. Ooh, there's something about a nice knit blanket that I just really love. Studio McGee though is like price range outer space, you know? I really like this, that's cute. I'm loving this trolley pillow. Quality? Questionable. I think it's actually a zipper so you can take it off and wash it, but they have a nice assortment of pillows and more pillows. I don't know, I think I'm overwhelmed in this section. Here's the other advent calendar house too. It's colorful. Oh my gosh, a garland countdown. That's sweet. Oh, and I really do like these trees with ornaments. Let's explore the hearth and hand. Did I say magnolia? I don't know, I don't understand the difference. Doesn't she have a store named Magnolia? I love these stockings. Oh, they're darling. I got my stockings last year from, I think, Home Goods. It was like a set of four for as much as they sell one here. The train set, oh, 84 pieces. You know what? We might do a train set. Maybe not this year, but eventually. A puzzle? That's interesting. They've got some mugs, this portable Bluetooth radio, but it looks old school. I actually really love that. Oh, a room spray that smells like pompous. They have more stockings, another Bluetooth radio, whatever your style is, some Stanleys and camping gear. I don't know, what are we doing? Out of my eye, I see a bunch of stands. Christmas stuff over here in Magnolia. Magnolia something? What is it, hand and hearth, hearth and hand. What the heck is this? Oh, wall art. Wouldn't that be cool if it was an actual sled in that box? <laughs> nah, that would be awesome. Okay, so they have more advent calendars. One where you just have a magnet. I really like the idea of that one over there. And then a bunch of foliage and, ooh, that's actually a really cool looking pot. I try to look for pots like that at the thrift store. They're hard to come by. Letters to Santa. Here's a nicer one, that green one. Beautiful. Actually, this is gorgeous, but I bet it's like $80. To my surprise, it is $24.99. Worth it. Now I'm curious to see how much this is. $50. Could be worse. It's definitely quality, so I really like it. I guess it's, it's priced just right. And then they have a bunch of like outdoor lanterns and stuff. Wow, they actually have a lot of beautiful stuff. Home for the holidays, that welcome mat. The one on below says Merry Christmas in red. Really like this candle opera, actually. It's different than what I've ever seen. That's pretty. Kind of reminds me of like vintage vibes. Oh my goodness, is this a little toy? I love how they're having more toys and stuff. A ring stacker, that would be a great gift. Inflatable snow tube. Yeah, we need that in Florida. A block set? Oh, that's sweet. What's here? A camper? A camper dollhouse set? That's darling. Oh, and then they have a train set accessory set. They have really nice boxes too, actually. Ooh, ribbons and bows. I actually need some of these ribbons and bows. And what's in here? Build a snowman set? I'm gonna need to see a picture, ma'am. There is no, oh, build a snowman set. So you, it's actually like you build a snowman and then it's all the accessories you put, like a button and a corn cob pipe. I can't open it, but that's amazing. <laughs> no snow and floor. You know what? I have a sand man. So there's an ornament set here. That's beautiful. They also have kids disposable coloring placemats. That's really fun for Christmas. Nice wire baskets. And then they have really festive plates and bowls and cups and mugs, all kinds of stuff. They even have a fondue set. I actually got my KitchenAid from here and it's this color. So if you're looking for it, this is where I got it. This is the food chopper. Everything here is just so like woman across the room. You know what I mean? Oh my gosh, of course they have this stuff too. Holiday cookie stamps. I'm not at that level yet. Parchment paper and cupcake liners. Oh, cookies for Santa tray. Oh my goodness, is that a mistletoe? That's really sweet. I'm falling in love with this section. They have brass bell garland, two turtle doves, stocking holders. I don't know what these are. Fabric gift tags. All right, that's pretty cool. That tree topper is unlike anything I've ever seen before. Ooh, look at this swag. Why is everything called swag? All right. Anyway, here are some ceramic swag bells. I feel like those would definitely break if you hang them on a door. No, just me. Maybe I'm too rough with my doors. 
another ornament set. Oh, more bells. See, those look durable to me. And then some garland and lights and a tree collar. Even more, they have this really nice decorative box that I am unable to open. Artificial gift toppers. Okay. Oh, look at this, a sweet wagon. Oh, I love all of this these toys. They have this beautiful paint by numbers kit too. You know what? They have it all in here. They shoved so much stuff in this section. Food gifting bags includes 40 pieces, uh, but there's also stickers. So are they counting each sticker? 20 bags, 20 stickers. Done. Some mugs as we make our way to the seasonal section at Target. I guess the whole store is pretty much the seasonal section. That cat I'm crying, love it, the Santa Claus face, yes. And then this, monogrammed mugs. Hmm, I have a feeling those are gonna go on clearance. This one's really cute. Wait, they come in packs now? A two pack, you get two 20 ounces. That's interesting. I'm looking for the large bright pink one. They have a ton of cookie cutters. Every shape you could ever imagine. Oh my heck, a little gingerbread family. Look at those little babies. They have a whole baking section over here. All the spatulas, the kitchen towels, the sprinkles, holiday sprinkles, cookie stamps even. I wonder if they're all Santa Claus. Oh, this one says Merry Christmas. Those are cute, those are $3 a piece. They have aprons as well and cooking mittens. The cookie cutters are a dollar a piece, by the way, and these little spatulas are a dollar a piece. They have rolling pins. Oh, these are fun rolling pins. These, I guess, sold like hotcakes because I'm not seeing them. I saw a bunch of these snack bowls or great for charcuterie boards also in the shape of a tree. And then they have these for $5 a piece, similar to the ones we saw at the Target dollar spot. But as you can see, slight size difference, but also $2 cost difference. And the Dollar Tree always has a lot of tins uh, and they go fast. They have this snowflake looking platter for $20. Ooh, the Merry Christmas bowl, that looks pretty. Oh, and those trivets that say joy. These are actually so fantastic to keep the kids entertained. We kept ours up for like two months last year. $25, it's color your own gingerbread house kit. And then they have a bakery down here, but they have all kinds of Christmas crafts too. Create your own paper garland. They have bead ornaments and frame, oh like picture frames. Sew your own little ornament too. So they have all kinds of ornaments. And then a reindeer headband kit, a picture frame. We did that at church, I think last year and the kids loved it. All these wooden things that they could paint for $5 or you get a kit of three for $5 with the paint. So if you ask me, I always get these. These are the screaming deal, but obviously those are a little larger. And then some ornaments, wooden ornaments. And of course this Moda Llama brand sells all the arts and crafts like paints, paint brushes, all the stuff that you're gonna need. Actually, there's a ton of stuff, holy cow. $15 for this wooden plank. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. The nativity scene, this is $10. And you can paint your own nativity scene. I've never seen anything like that, that's awesome. Maybe I've just overlooked it, I don't know. I'd love to see that. And then paint your own canvas your own gingerbread house that's ten dollars you know what i'd rather paint my own than decorate my own because holy cow putting a gingerbread house together although i have seen at costco they sell the ones that are already put together which thank you so much create your own needle point ornaments that's amazing i love this this is holiday craft kit 12 in 1. is this an advent calendar for crafters it feels pretty light so oh each day is a new craft well that could be really fun for 10 bucks a foam gingerbread man kit, love that. $10 for these throw blankets. A little bigger than the ones we saw at the Target dollar spot. I love this. I feel like I'm very close to entering this season of my life where I decorate our bathrooms for this season. This is actually my favorite. I might just do it. I might just buy it. I don't know. It's white. Why'd they have to do that to us? White in a bathroom, please. And then they have, I don't know, what is that? A polar bear. I actually love this towel wrap. And then they have more rugs over here, an assortment of rugs, and then some bath towels, more bath towels, and more pumpers. What is happening over here? I'm loving this vibe, it's not Christmas. This, however, is for the holiday season, more shower wraps and kind of a snowflake vibe. See, even snowflakes get a gray. 
but wait, there's a shower curtain over here and some more bath mats. They are starting to put out all of the like holiday snacks over here. Oh my gosh, I'm seeing so many. First of all, these chocolate hot cocoa balms. These, it's $8 for three of them. Oh, these look intergalactic, planetary. Also have white chocolate up there that I see. Um, oh, an Oreo milkshake kit. Holy crap, look how big these are. The Ghirardelli Peppermint Square for $13, 15 for the lint. That's always fun. You know what, last minute gift ideas and it's like, oh, it's not the best gift. It's kind of thoughtless, but also awesome. Look at these hairy boats. Like if you got that, wouldn't you be happy? A wreath donut, yes please. A Nutella, absolute. Actually, oh my gosh, I was just talking about this. This is how they sell them in Europe. In these glass jars, collect them all. Wait, give me all four designs. Where are you at? I only see one singular design. Am I wrong? No, here, what, what? Okay, one, two, show me some more. I only found three and to be fair, they kind of look extremely similar. Uh, I don't even know if I'm gonna get it, but <laughs> I am excited. I, what I said before was I wish I would have kept my jars. Like I used to use them as cups but when we moved. I just, you know, didn't care about them, but these are so cute. I feel like my local Target already has their stuff out. I always make a mistake and go to the wrong one. What? Oh, that's just the icing. I'm looking for the big gingerbread cookies to decorate. Purple is definitely the color of the season. Look how cute this is. It's like a bus that's stuck in the snow. I can dig it. It's delivering all the goodies to us. I'm loving all of the velvet, all of the textures, all of the colors. This is probably my standout favorite. Christmas trees. So many aisles here to explore that they already have up. I was dogging on them for not having the snacks out. Don't worry, I'll go to my Target on the way home, see how much they've done. But this is it. I love all of the ornaments that they have. I mean, not, not like this champagne and alcohol tree. What's going on? I'm loving this tree. Man, I love Christmas so much. I'm starting in one aisle and then just going to my left. This is, oh my heck. This is like the pet pet section. They have all of these pet ornaments. Oh, I could cry. Oh, my Christmas treats. Have a furry Christmas. Deck the paws. <laughs> Peace, love, and belly rubs. Oh, I love pets. It's in the shape of a cat, a, a fish. Here's a better shot of the Christmas trees. Looks like the tallest one they have is a nine foot and it's $150, which I feel like is a decent price for a nine foot tree and it's pre-lit. I feel like most trees are pre-lit these days. Isn't this a beautiful sight? Let's just pretend we're at the Christmas tree farm right now. And then behind us, we've got a dinosaur. We have Joy, these are for your yard, the ho-ho hoes. Actually, just two hoes, not three. Can relate. And they also normally have a bunch of like different animals. Like they have Yoda, they have Santa Claus coming out of a chimney. That's pretty fun. They've got steak lights, some candy canes. They've got a birch tree. Ooh, a tinsel Santa. That is fun. And then they have a fabric snowman. He's always been my favorite. He's darling. They still have that dog. Oh, is that an owl? Oh, he's cute. I don't even know if that's an owl. Joy, more snowmen. Actually, this might be my favorite. I don't know, but the price, I'm just like, ugh, I can't. It's $100 for that, for a de decoration. <laughs> Love these mini trees. Whoa, this one is $100. Are these for the front porch? I can dig this one. Oh gosh, it's still 75. Actually, this one's really pretty. If we're doing 75, I'd rather do this. It is beautiful. I just still 70. It's cheaper than the one at Costco that I was looking at. It was like 100 and plus dollars. All right, Snowshoe Lodge. We've got a big box that says Snowshoe Lodge. And then a few wooden things. These are 25, 20. I have a snowman a couple years ago, similar to this. And then 20 for this one, which is actually a really good price for those things. And then a few pillows. On this side, we have a bunch of wreaths, wire wreaths, and mostly, actually this one's my favorite. I mean, it's a wreath. A wreath is a wreath and we got some garland. $10 apparently for everything on this little end cap. They're still setting up, so they have the power tools going if you hear it. I'm trying to cut it out, but I'm sure some of it will come in here. Feliz Navidad. <clears throat> the good thing about Target is that 
every year, if you add on to your family, they always have these stockings out. Isn't that great? Mm. Well, only if you bought them, you know? They do have these mini ones too. Oh my gosh, who gets, what can you even put in there? A little cash money, I guess. And then more stockings. Love the stocking collection. Hobby Lobby also has a fantastic variety of stockings. And oh my goodness, actually Home Goods has the best price if you bundle them. And then they have these stocking hangers, the holder sets. I don't, where do you hold your stockings? We don't have a fireplace, so you can understand our dilemma. Next year though, we will, because the edition, well, cross our fingers, the edition will be done. <laughs> and um, I already bought a faux fireplace. It's been in our garage for a while. Got it at a um, estate sale for a really great price. So anyway, here are some of the fake trees. We got these for our kids last year and they loved them. $10 for the tree. We saved it for later. Actually, this one is my favorite. I wish we would have got that, but we got these. I think it was just all that was left when we got them. They even have the tree collars and they have their own ornaments for them. All kinds of decorating opportunities, garland and tree skirts and angels, even tree toppers. It's just so cute. The whole kit and caboodle. If you do it this way, this seems the most practical is $15 rather than doing 10, five, 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 you know what I mean? I smell maple syrup. Don't know what that's all about. Maybe it's the power tools, you guys. These trees, amazing. What the heck? I look down here, $100 for this one, 50? Or can, can I put these outside? I guess I can put them wherever the heck I feel like it, right? It's just a matter of will they last, but I'm really enjoying those. I probably won't get any of them, but here they are. Here's the ornament wall. I feel like normally it's bigger than this, but I also feel like there's more to be seen on the other side. Uh, oh my, oh my gosh, I smell children. A Hallmark ornament, I'm glad they're selling them here because most of the Hallmark stores around me kind of closed down. Wanted the wet bandits. Oh, that might be the best ornament I've seen. They've got a Nintendo, they've got Sonic, they've got the Grinch and Nightmare Before Christmas and Ninja Turtles and, oh my gosh, Cheetos. Food ornaments are surprisingly popular. They have mac and cheese. I saw a lot of mac and cheese Halloween costumes while we were trick-or-treating. The Wonka bar. I think there's a new Wonka movie coming out um, at the end of... December. I think it actually comes out on Avelina's birthday. That's what she wants to do on her birthday. Go to the movies with her friends and also more stuff, but you know, teenagers. Okay, more ornaments here. I'll just give you an overview. I don't even know really what they are. All I see is glitter and I'm trying to get out of people's way. And more ornaments over here. These are plush ornaments, so soft ones. These are $3 a piece. I think the other ones were more expensive. Mushrooms for that kind of felt like foam. I saw some succulents over here. I thought those were pretty funny. Some snowmen, deer, owls. Oh my gosh, owls, those are cute. Some houses, $3 for these. Oh, is the whole thing $3? Yeah, $3 a pop. Actually, $3 adds up really fast when you buy like multiple, you know? What's happening over here, Joy? What is this? Oh my gosh, is this a little, oh, it's been so long I forgot the name of it. A little, you know, mm -mm. a pocket music. Oh gosh, hold on, cassette, what's it called? It's right on the tip of my tongue. Joy, Bob Joy, a little, a boom box in your pocket. What is this called? Grab my Playboy, not a Playboy. Oh, that's offensive. It's something boy. Is it though? Play something? I don't know, I, can't, I cannot think of it. It's on the tip of my tongue, but oh, that's fun to see. What the heck is this? I don't know what that is. They got flamingos up there, a cactus I see, Santa Claus. Oh my gosh, a bunch of Santa Clauses. They're cooking, they're baking. This is my favorite Santa Claus. So dang cute. I also love a good gingerbread man. I don't see one of those yet. Oh, I love a good sweater. What the heck is that called? <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. Just had to Google it, which was a whole ride and a half. You guys. I guess some people call these pocket rockers, which made me laugh, but they're actually called drum roll please, a Walkman. I was so close. <laughs> Playboy. <laughs> ah, that would be a whole other thing in your pocket. All right, here is the other side of the UPS truck delivering all the goodies. We've got green and blue and black on this side. Darling, more ornaments up here. Oh yes, Santa Claus in a wheelchair. I love that but he's not cooking anything, so points deducted there. What is she doing? 
She's just decorating with a wreath. Okay, I can dig it. Actually, gingerbread dressed up like Santa Claus. This is the winner for me. Absolutely, yes. Okay, more ornaments. I'll try not to do one by one because that's just too many. We haven't even gotten to the fun section yet. And can I tell you, they're not playing Christmas music. They're playing Ariana up in here. And like, yeah, I'm jamming. Wait a second, is this a waffle maker? That's so funny, it's a little dash. Listen, I'm not complaining. Oh my heck, shrimps in a cocktail glass. <laughs> shrimps, oh, that's really funny. They also have a greenhouse. That's really cool. Okay, I'll give you an overview. I'm just excited. It's the first time I'm seeing these two, the, the gumballs and the gumball dispenser. I'm loving that. Are these macarons? Oh, that's my favorite. These are $5 a piece. Ooh, what the heck is happening here? An ornament set? A Target ornament set. Ornament. Okay, they also have all of these ornaments. I'm trying to like give it to you so you can peruse at your leisure. So I'm not like picking out my favorites and only showing you that. New driver, oh, that would be fun. Wouldn't that be fun to like, new driver, give them an ornament instead of actual keys to a car. <laughs> $5 for this ornament. Oh, I need to buy mine for this year. Oh my heck, this one's cute. You don't stop the music. All right, I'll stop. The music keeps going and we're just looking at Christmas stuff. Okay, this is the fun aisle. This is, <gasps> wait a second. I just ordered one of these off of Spamazon. Mine was less than half the price. Actually, it was nothing like this. This is an advent calendar. It's got cute little stuffies with it, $35. A wreath there. They have some garland. What the heck is this? A gingerbread house set. Somebody stop me. What do we do? We can't open it. I feel like we need to see a display. We need to see what's inside. Look at these guys. Hot cocoa and a candy cane. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have way too much fun here. I should have split this up into two videos so I'm not rushing. Hold on. I don't know what song this is. Branches. Oh, Christmas tree. It's all Christmas tree. Of course it is. Classic. We've got Santa, the gingerbread. Have you guys been to Hobby Lobby? Oh, they have aisles and aisles and aisles. Actually this, this lightning switch. I've seen this for a few years now. Does it actually work? How does it work? I feel like I don't buy it because I just don't know how I'm gonna set it up. Hello, Santa. Mechanic department, this is Frank. It's Frank, it's not Santa. <laughs> the disappointment. There's also another Christmas tree here. Does this do something? I feel like it should dance. Try me. Yes. Party hop, ba da da da. Give it to me, give it to me. Try us to stop. Deck the halls with bells of holly. Oh, she ate that. All right, how about this one? Does this do anything? No, boring. All right, Santa stops here. This looks like another advent calendar where it's like, what are you gonna fit in there? You know what I mean? A dollar bill, I guess. Bunch of other stuff, letters to Santa. We haven't seen anything like that. Ooh, another train track. Christmas Mist series train track. It's $35. I don't know how much the Magnolia one was or whatever the heck it's called, but I'm sure it was probably twice as much as that. Uh, you know how they, she doesn't put prices on her stuff. <laughs> okay, we have more Santas with Believe. I wasn't gonna do it, but I feel like I have to. <laughs> this is what it's all about. You better not cry. Yeah, that is a classic. Better not cry, better not pout. Here we go. On the first day of Christmas. Yes, classic. Let's sing it together. On the second day of Christmas, we're gonna do the whole song. Gave to me two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree. Everybody, oh, it stopped. I was hoping it would do the whole run. I wonder if that's just the trial. Okay. I need something that does the whole song. How obnoxious would that be? Oh, that's actually really sweet. Okay, what about this one? That one is broken. Okay, this is the rest of the fun aisle down here. Bunch of Christmas hats. These are so fun and festive and $5. Like, why not, you know? Christmas, we've got glittery. We have glittery. That's always hard for me to say properly. What is happening here? We have a puppet theater. We got a puppet theater for $20. This is actually pretty sweet. Okay, 20 pieces. How many letters do we get in here? A whole stationary set with some stamps. Mm, that is everything included. Six letters, six envelopes. 
I don't know how I feel about this. Jingle All the Way, one of the best holiday movies of all time. It doesn't get enough credit. Some more advent calendars. People are really into counting down for Christmas, huh? Oh, a beard, sweet. They also have Christmas lights, an abundance of Christmas lights. And I assume this aisle will be full of wrapping paper soon. People are really starting to come out. Seven bucks, that's a lot of wrapping paper for seven bucks. Is that a dinosaur? I could dig it. $3 for this one, that's a cute one. All right, and then this aisle down here, here is the silver and gold section. So I'll just give you a little peek on this. I don't know, I'm not really into that beige life. I live with a lot of color. So there's that. I mean, it's beautiful and I can appreciate it. I just, it's just not something that I gravitate toward. And then they have Let It Snow, a bunch of wooden signs over here. Another advent calendar. That's actually really pretty. And, ooh, this does something. <laughs> Let's check it out. Oh, it just lights up. Okay, still very cool. And then, what, a bunch of that stuff. Okay, wonderful. Ooh, a letter to Santa. That vintage light bulb pillow. Oh my gosh, an advent pillow. This might win it all. They're obviously still stalking because the holiday season just began, uh, but I did find 50 gift tags. How much are these? $5. Looks like they have a couple. Now, when I say a couple, okay, hot cocoa in there. So 50 different tags, but they're different tags. You know what I mean? FAO Schwartz has this little setup of, I don't know, adopt a dog. What's happening in here? Oh wait, a glow bright. Oh, this is cute. Did it just sing? It just did something. I do think it does something, but you have to like take the tab off. This is really getting my attention. This is darling. I think it lights up. That's really cute. Better than a squash mallow. I'm sorry, I didn't know Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer had cereal. What does that taste like? Also, apple pie toast crunch. I'm not gonna lie, that's probably delicious. Oh, these would be great to make Rice Krispie treats out of festive ones. They have Elf on the Shelf hot cocoa cereal, Christmas crunch. It's like, where have I been living under a rock? Has this been around for years and I've just never seen it before? It gets sold out. Sugar cookie cereal? Oh my gosh, how much sugar is in this crap? Surprisingly, not as much as I thought. 15 grams of added sugar. There's more in Nutella, I'm just saying. Also serving size, be careful. So I have live trees here. How much are these? $30, but you know what? My neighbor planted his, I guess he had this as a Christmas tree. He planted it and it is massive. So plant it when you're done and like, hey, I feel like I should buy one. This is also the Target with like a deli and a bakery. It's a super Target. So they have this peppermint bark and these dipped and sprinkled pretzels. Those would be great for a charcuterie board. They have milk, chocolate dipped pretzels. And check it, for $5.29, you can get your very own gingerbread house decorating kit. The best part about this is that it's put together. Genius, genius. Hey, they even have cookies for you to decorate, Santa's holiday cookies. This is a screaming deal. I feel like for us, part of the fun is making the cookies, but $5.29, and it comes with the sugar, the gel, the frosting, and the cookies. They even have a mini house. Oh, this is cute. And then of course they have the beach house. This is hilarious, actually so funny. And it comes with a palm tree. I'm crying, this is so funny. And then of course the Christmas tree cakes. I feel like these sold out last year. I don't eat them, but I always like to put them out for like when we have guests over during the holidays and stuff. So I'm gonna grab a couple boxes. <laughs> Pop tarts. This, why is everything beach theme? This is killing me, it's so funny. More goodies over here. They have frosted gingerbread and then gingerbread bites, gingerbread madelines. They have three for five, the hot cocoa bombs. These are much smaller than the other ones. The other ones were about this size, but still $5 for three. Scream and deal, what is the difference? Ugh, just the size, not even the price, unless it's in the wrong spot. They have all kinds of hot cocos down here. And then more Christmas goodies, a very merry holiday gummy box, and then keep the box and change out the snacks for movie night. Gingerbread cookie kit. I was looking for the massive ones, but this would work. And then if you make your own cookies, here's a nice little decorating kit to go along with it. So that's fun. I'm on my way to the checkout and I, this is, they have a, what is it? Ulta, Sephora, whatever it is, Ulta in this store. And they have all kinds of stuff, face masks and 
shower steamers. Yes, these are my favorite. Oh my gosh, keep those on hand for when you're not feeling so well and it'll really pump you up. And then they have their holiday, I don't know, scents. Tropical mango is not a holiday scent. I guess they just shoved it here. Marion Bright and Candy Cane are. And then I love how they put these gift sets together. So they have scrunchies and nail polish and hair clips. Actually $10 for all those hair clips. Pretty good deal. Oh, wishing you well. You know what? These are all the rage these days. These wrist towels. It's like when you're washing your face and all the water is dripping down. To me, minor inconvenience. All right, they have a whole gifting station up in here. I don't really know what's happening. I did see little sparkling ciders that really got me excited. Not that I even like cider. Five dollars. See what I mean? Five dollars for one clip, and then the other set you get like twenty in there. Quality difference? I don't know, but someone's bound to sit on them and break them anyway. You know? How is this a gift station? I do need a red top. I was just thinking about that. Like, man, I have nothing red to wear today. I wanted to wear something red, but I didn't have anything. Okay, I guess just the middle is the gifting station. <laughs> okay, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching, hanging out, chomping around with me. Hope you saw some pretty cool stuff inside. I was excited to see a bunch of Christmas and holiday stuff. Not surprised, but excited. If you want to subscribe, put a little happy in your day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.